Hey y'all, okay, I'm making this video because I have a bit of a dilemma and I don't really know what to do about it. So I want to introduce you to Sparty. Come here, Sparty. Come here. Come here. This is Sparty. He's a six-month-old English bulldog. And I've had him since um, right around Thanksgiving. And when I got him, um, I got him from somebody that, you know, I I believed in and I don't know, I guess whatever. Anyways, I ended up finding out within a day or two after me getting him, I took him to the vet and found out he had a heart murmur, grade two heart murmur. And um, I had the, the breeder go with me to the vet and, you know, she gave me the option at that point, do you want, you know, what do you, how do you want to rectify this? Do you want discount? Do you want a different dog? Do you want your money back? And, I, you know, I at that point I knew that the heart murmur could stay the same, it could get worse or it could get better. There, or, I'm sorry, it could not get better, but it could either stay the same or get worse. So, you know, at that time, I said, uh, I'll take a discount. I don't want to get rid of the dog because I really, I really like this dog. I don't want to get rid of him. So I'll take a discount and I will um, just kind of see what happens. And hopefully you, you just help me out, you know, and kind of guide me along the way. Because I've never, I don't know what to do. So since then, that was in November. Um, I have, it's been like a never ending. As you can see, he has cherry eye, which we've gotten fixed quite a few times but it won't go away and he can't get surgery for it because two weeks after he was diagnosed with a grade two heart murmur his heart murmur um was moved up to a grade four so now he has a grade four heart murmur he has a cherry eye he's had consistent bouts with diarrhea for whatever reason that he's um had to get on medicine for and then as you can see he has this spot right here that's a uh, Demodex, Demodex canine, um, it's a form of mange mites that um, is typically passed on from mother to pup in the early days or weeks of life. So we just found out that he had that within the past or about a week and a half ago and um, started giving him Ivernex medicine for that and he's having a really bad reaction to that. So I actually just got back from the vet's office a few minutes ago. And he had to get put on something else because now he is having just straight bloody diarrhea. For the past four nights, I've had to wake up at least one, if not twice, in the um, once, if not twice, in the middle of the night, and clean up his cage and him, and then of course the bathtub because he's had like uncontrollable diarrhea. So, and that's that is uh, due to. The medicine that's the side effect of the medicine he's been a little loopy because of the medicine also but anyways my point is this I researched this breed and he's such look at him he is so cute he's such a good dog like he loves car rides he hates walk, going for walks he um he knows when I come home like he as soon as my car pulls up he freaks out because he knows it's me he's like so playful and happy and lovey and he's an amazing dog but he's like costing me a crap load of money and um it's like it's insane like I, I prepared myself I researched the breed I prepared myself for a long time I saved up money to buy him he was expensive I saved up to make sure I was gonna have enough you know to take care of him to get all his shots his his you know rabies his license I paid for doggy training classes for him so that he would learn how to um interact with other people and dogs and sit and all of that in addition to that, I've had all of these health issues. <laughs> He's so funny. I've had all of these health issues with him. And when I went to the vet today, you know, like he told me, he sees dogs all the time with cherry eyes, sees dogs all the time with, you know, Demodex. He sees dogs all the time with a variety of different things. But to have them all at the same time at such a young age, like it's 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 not common. And it's, um, I mean, he, he told me, Basically, it's just a matter of how long you can put up with it and how long you can afford to continue coming him because he's going to continue to probably have health issues and not just your run of the mill. Oh, he has a little sneeze, but like serious, serious issues. So now I'm like, after you know the last three or four nights of sleepless nights and waking up and all of that and taking him to the vet, rushing to the vets. I swear I'm in the vet's office like at least every two weeks spending another 90, 100, 75, 80 dollars 
on stuff because there's just, I don't understand. I feel like I'm such a great doggy mom. Like, I do everything I'm supposed to. He has all his shots. I love him. I feed him the absolute best food I can feed him. I do everything. I don't understand. It's obviously to me it, that it's just, it's in his, it's in his bloodline. It's, in, it's genetic, I guess, his health issues. I don't know. But at this point, I don't know what I should do. So I'm, like, making this video to see if anybody else have a bulldog that's had these issues, that have any advice for me that, you know... What should I do? I mean, I've tried to reach out to the breeder, and she's not she's not answering me at this time. These, I don't know. She's just not answering my calls. Tried to reach out and see if there's anybody else who's, you know, his um, siblings or anything who are having these issues. I know that one of his siblings is deaf. That was the last I heard of that one. I know that quite a few of them have died. I don't... So, I don't know. But I'm just, like, I'm, I'm getting... I'm getting, I guess, frustrated because I don't want to get rid of him because I don't want to be that person that's like, oh, I, you know, got a dog and now I just can't take care of him. It's too much. No, you guys don't understand. It's not like, oh, I got a dog and I just can't take care of him. I believe I take very good care of him. I just don't, I'm just, I'm already broke as it is. I just don't have the money to continue to take a dog to the vet for stuff that shouldn't be wrong with him. And it's, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, I really prepare myself. Like, it wasn't just me getting a dog. Like, I, I researched him for years. I saved up money. I did everything. I enrolled him in puppy classes or puppy training classes. As soon as I got him, I, I don't know. What do you guys have for me? Anything, any advice, any, I mean, anything at all. I don't know what to do. I don't have, I, I don't have the time or money or patience to continue to do this. I need... I don't know, like, in, I mean, the vet told me today also because of his heart murmur is so bad. If anything ever happens, say he has, like, a blocked intestine or um, he, even his cherry eye, he can never have surgery. He can't get fixed, so he costs me more to license him because he can't be fixed because he cannot, he cannot be put under an anesthetic because he'll die. I mean, the chances are too great that he'll die. It's, it wouldn't be worth it to even do it. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just looking for advice. I'm looking for something because I don't I don't know what to do and I don't I don't want to get rid of my dog I don't want to I don't know but just let me know I guess